All right, we're here with Esther Henslet. Just talk about your round. How do you feel coming off your, your first round here at Baltusrol? Um, yeah, I feel good. I played some nice golf, um, some good birdie chances, and I feel like if you hit the fairway off the tee, you do get some chances, so you really have to focus on that and get your ball into play. And I did that pretty well today. Um, a few bogeys. Yeah, I left a few shots out there, but overall a good day. We've heard uh, so much about the uniqueness of this course, and that closes with two par fives. You you went birdie on 17, bogey on 18. Just what have you what did you see out of those two holes? Um, yeah, I really like it. It's pretty cool to finish with two par fives. You really feel like you have a chance to have a good score on those two. Um, 17, I played pretty nice. Um, 18, I got a bit unlucky. Um, into the green that my ball just caught the fringe long and didn't come back and then I had pretty much an impossible shot and had to hold a 12 footer coming back with quite a bit of break and missed that one um, but yeah I really like both holes it's definitely challenging but also gives you a good chance yeah. all right we'll go ahead and open it up Jeff you want to start yes, sir, yeah it's a it's a good start here um, out of the gate it's pretty tough and you made three birdies early. Could you take us through that a little bit? Um, yeah, I mean, I was thinking after the practice rounds, um, if you get through the first six holes pretty close to even, you're doing a good job. And to birdie three was definitely a bonus. I got pretty lucky with my drive on one. I missed the fairway, but my lie was good, so I could get it to the green. And I mean, four, it's just a bit scary, to be honest, <laughs> especially that pin today. And I feel like normally the wind is hurting a little bit on that uh, hole, so it's a bit easier to stop the ball on that top plateau. And today it was helping, so you kind of had to land the ball on the bottom tier and roll it up. So it's a tricky shot, but I managed that one. And yeah, when you get to seven, you feel like you have some chances coming up. Yeah, I, uh, hi. <laughs> I feel like a lot of folks on this side of the pond got to know you for the first time at the Women's Open a few years ago. How are you a different player now than you were then? Um, well, I think um, probably everyone can see that I worked pretty hard on my technique and my long game. Um, so I made a lot of improvements there. My putting's always room for improvement, but I feel like I'm going into a good direction there. And I think I just have more shots around the greens. And yeah, just getting used to being out here and playing really tough courses every week. How would you sum up your year so far? Um, I didn't get off to the best start, but it's been pretty solid. I missed a few cuts by one, which always hurts a bit, but I felt pretty confident coming into this week. I played some nice stuff. Just felt like every part was okay, but it didn't really all come together. And yeah, it's nice to see a good score coming together today and going into the next few days. Did you have a good run at, at Atlanta, was it, at the KPMG? Um, yeah, I had a, I think, top 15 finish there. Yeah, what did you learn about this championship and yourself uh, with that experience? Um, it's just my favorite tournament of the year, and I'm always looking forward to playing the KPMG. And this is even more special because I have a good friend who's a member here. Oh. So I came over early and played a couple rounds about five weeks ago. So, yeah, it's just the best tournament of the year, and it's great to come back to such a special place like Baltus Roll and it's just fun to be here and you're just grateful to be able to play here. Yeah, I mean, A lot of p players hadn't seen it until this week so uh, what were your initial impressions when you got here? Um, well I really liked it right away. The weather was a bit better when I was last year and the fairways are a bit firmer now but other than that it was pretty similar and yeah I just really like it. It suits my eye. Some tricky holes out there, but if you get yourself in position, uh, you really do get some chances. So I think it's a pretty good golf course. What is it about this event that makes it your favorite? 
Uh, well, they always take great care of us. The food's always good. Um, it's always great golf courses. And you just feel like the spectators are always fun and everyone's in a good mood. And yeah, I just really like the vibe of it. Okay. All right, that'll do it for the English questions. Uh, Juan, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, go ahead, take it away. I'll ask you in English, though. But I mean, if you could answer in German. <laughs> okay, I try, yeah. I could try. But I mean, yeah. Uh, so, yes, I mean, first take us to the round today. I mean, what, what went well for you? What, what was, yeah. Uh, ja, ich habe gut gespielt. Ich habe viele Fairways getroffen, vor allem um, um die Mitte rum, uh, gute Eisen. Die letzten Wochen war ich schon sehr stark mit, meinem, mit meinen Eisen und ja, das war heute auch so. Ich habe die Parts gelocht, die ich lochen musste, uh, was mir geholfen hat, den Score zusammenzuhalten und insgesamt einfach ein guter Tag. Zwischendurch hatte ich noch ein paar Bogies, die ein bisschen weh taten, aber insgesamt war es auf jeden Fall mehr Positives, um in die nächsten Tage zu gehen. It looks like you, you enjoy this championship, you enjoy the tough conditions. I mean, what do you enjoy the most about it and how do you deal with things like the rough here this week? Like ja, ähm, ich mag es immer sehr gerne, wenn der Platz schwer spielt. Ähm, ich habe das Gefühl, dass mein starkes, langes Spiel dann zum Vorteil wird, weil viele Leute Grüns ähm, nicht treffen und dann wirklich viel Arbeit haben. Und ich habe das Gefühl, dass ich da mein, meine Stärken gut ausspielen kann. Ähm, insgesamt KPMG ist immer mein Lieblingsevent. Es ist extrem gut organisiert. Man fühlt sich immer ein bisschen besonders, wenn man hierher kommt. Und auch Baltus Row ist Einfach ein toller Platz und so viel Geschichte hier. Deswegen ist es echt eine Ehre, hier spielen zu dürfen. So, and, and the last thing is, I mean, it looks like this might be the, the easiest day or the ni nicest day of the week. So, what do you how do you prepare yourself mentally and physically for the next three days? No? Uh, ja, Majors sind immer lange Wochen und man muss einfach ein bisschen aufpassen uh, bei den Übungstagen, dass man seine, seine Energie ein bisschen sich aufspart. Um, heute waren wir noch relativ glücklich mit dem Regen, das noch weggeblieben, aber ja, die nächsten Tage sehen relativ schlecht aus und ich glaube, da muss man sich einfach auf den Schlag, der jetzt nächstes kommt, konzentrieren und versuchen, in einer guten Stimmung zu bleiben und das Positive zu sehen, weil jeder wird hier Bogies machen und mal zwischendurch eine schwere Strecke haben. Deswegen muss man einfach seinen Score zusammenhalten und da positiv rangehen. Thank you, Chef. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I know that one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, can I ask that final question? Who's your swing instructor that you, you talked about working on your swing? Uh, it's Reese Phillips. He's also caddying for me. So, yeah, he's has with he, me all the time. Has he been your swing coach for a long time? Um, we started working together about two and a half years ago. Thank you. What, Thank you. What's the biggest thing you improved? <laughs> well... Um, the biggest thing in my swing is always keeping the club face strong. Um, so working on that, especially on the top of the backswing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.